Where are we going? Why are we in Tuscaloosa? We are at a Riley Green concert. <laughs> that has this been my like favorite country artist ever. Ever. Oh my gosh. Is she in a parking lot? Um, seems like a perfectly fine parking lot. Yeah. Sure. How to find parking. Oh, I don't know about that. Anyways, so we were supposed to come to this concert. When was it originally? Set nope, this is September. It was before water. I think it was May or June. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, but it got postponed because of COVID. So now here we are. And this was his Christmas present from me back it's past December. And now we're in September. So it's been a long time it's coming. September. She meant December, that's when they held Christmas. I said, I don't know. We'll check the video. We'll check the video. <laughs> Anyways, I it's know. been a long time coming. Now we're here. What song are you looking the most forward to? It's a toss up. I love all of them. Um, I mean, I wish Grandpa's Never Done is the big one, but. That's why I said when he asked me earlier. There's also some other good ones that he's come out with recently. And then Grandpa's Never Done has Bear just been played Dixon. a lot. That's a. You know, Levi and his American self. Um. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited to hear Grandma's Never Died live, even though I got tired of kind of listening to it all the time because it just kind of felt like overplayed, but it is a good classic. But will it be my performance at the house of I Wish Grandpa's Never Died? No, babe, yours is better. <laughs> That's a lie. Okay, here we go. Long wall cut. We are walking, and I would also like to point out that while all of these girls are wearing booty shorts, I am wearing my jeans. Football. But I am wearing yeah. cowgirl boots and you'll never see that again, will ya? Probably not. She ain't a cowgirl. Nope, not redneck, but um how to bar my sisters. So thanks Elizabeth. What? Thanks Elizabeth for being a redneck. <laughs> Get out of our way. We've seen what, two, three girls completely on the ground? Can't walk? Oh, yeah, one girl like straight up hit her head in the beginning of the concert. Riley Green, he's a good old southern boy. He inspires people to partake in uh, yeah. not grape juice, uh, the other stuff. Oh my god. We're not going to mention it as a family friendly channel. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Beer! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, something in my throat. we're good, but. Just walking and seeing some of the shape that some of them in. We would rather sit here and wait for them to clear out. Besides, I got all these stories I saved. It was the best concert in the world. I got it. What was your favorite song? Don't ask me that. Because, like, halfway through, he plays I Wish Granny Paws Never Died. That's his, like, number one song in the world. Now, he said he went platinum. It's huge. It was amazing. But then he comes back out for an encore, plays Bury Me and Dixie. And then. But there's so many good ones. Like, legitimately, he was that Spotify thing that it does every year where it's like, this is your number one artist. It did that for me. My top five songs and my number one artist was Riley Green. All I listened to last year was Riley I Green. I got on him the other day because I messaged him and I said, do you even love Jesus? Because Listen, <laughs> I listened I'm... to Jesus music <laughs> and Riley Green. That's my guy. No, but in the search, like when I was trying to find a song to listen to, all that I was suggesting was country music straight up because there was... <laughs> No Jesus music. And I texted him and said, Do you even love Jesus? I do, with all my heart. 
<laughs> um, anyways. He's just a good old Alabama boy that hangs out with the boys, plays country music, and it had just, hasn't changed him a bit, but he's just big time famous. Right, but when you say, like, for me, like, when people, because I've been to Europe before and I moved for three weeks, and people are like, what was your favorite city? Like, for me, it's always the experience. So, like, with the songs, like, whatever yeah. song that, like, we had a good time singing along to together, and, like, he would sway me and be sweet, like, those were my favorite songs. That you know what I mean? Yeah. He swayed the bus there. Yeah. But just like sweet songs like that that have a good experience too and not just like good lyrics. Yeah. Those always make for the best memories. It's who you're with that matters. Yeah. I mean, anybody can have this experience at the concert where they love right. that artist. It's just for us, for me, this is my Christmas gift. It was yeah. Riley Green. So good Christmas gift. 10 yeah. out of 10. The best concert. That makes me happy. Killed it. I done did good. Last year, year, or the year before last year, I guess, I got him tickets to New York. And then, this which gives New about. York a run for its money. What? Riley's just, he's, he's an Alabama boy. Man. Basically, I'm really good at getting Christmas gifts. I don't know how you're going to top it. I don't know. I didn't know how I was going to do it last year, and I don't know how I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to find a way to do it myself. Like <laughs> anyway, we'll also vlog kind of a little bit of our day. a long uh, clip. Yeah, this might be a big vlog. She got to get a bit of footage. <laughs> oh, by the way, Corey Smith, he played there too. Yeah. Trying to make this clip good. forever long. He was good. He's definitely got a cool vibe. I've just never heard of him. He's bald. He is bald. With very bushy beard. Funny enough, he kind of looks like our neighbor from our new house. <laughs> he really does. Which y'all will see that vlog of our house tour, but um, it won't include our neighbor. No. We're going to film our neighbor. But our neighbor looks just kind of like good Corey Smith. And Maybe it's the same one. Yes. David, he's a sweet guy. He fishes all the time. He loves Jesus. Chats with me anytime he sees us. He does love Jesus. So, we get God, God bless David. God Shout bless Riley David. Green. Go God. you my nails. I don't Country to nails. What? <laughs> okay, bye. She's mocking me. <laughs> hey, baby, how bad do you have to be? The worst ever. I asked him if he wanted to pee in a bottle and he said he couldn't even make it to the bottle. It's too much work. I gotta just make it to the hotel bottle. That's what happens when you know every song and you want to hold it to listen to every song. <laughs> concert struggles. And then you can't wait in the line at the concert because it's I feel too like long. I have like kidney disease or something. <laughs> Damage to my freaking organs. Oh gosh, you already got to turn that Concert struggles. Y'all, facts. People wear the pins at concerts. That is disgusting. So that they can stay in line. Like they're get there, they get there early enough to where they can get their seats. Are you and they wear their pins. Yes. It's yeah, it's right there. No, it's not. Maybe. That's the th oh. gotta get the pump. We're tired. My feet are destroyed. Levi literally has blisters on his feet. I've worn those boots so many times, I don't know why. But we have Whataburger that yeah, we're gonna eat. It's like good. <laughs> Took up my whole face. <laughs> Fries and ketchup, too. Mmm, yummy. It's a Whataburger thing, it's special. So we're gonna eat and go to bed. This bed is very cozy. I have Quality still your face is still covered. Call me Burger Man. <laughs> yeah, it's only twelve thirty. Yep, this kid, bed is very the comfortable. Kid put on a great show. He did. Yeah, For a second, I thought you were talking about Walker because you said the kid. No, the kid that's older than me. And very Anyways, famous. he did great. We're exhausted. We miss our child. You partied us out, Riley. But we're enjoying this, like, you know, young life again. Getting to just eat burgers in bed. Jack. Eat one burger. Squeeze your nipple. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna eat and go to sleep. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow, I'm good thing I clicked record right after you said her address and not before. Um, anyways, we good. Slept.
stepped in this morning. Tana, your text message has broken us. Um, we slept in this morning so that we could relax and chill because we don't get to do that anymore because apparently I gotta get the momentary pause. Safety first, kids. Safety first, kids. Okay. Safety is sexy. Oh. Where did you hear that from? Somebody. Jimmy Fallon. That's who it is. My boy Jimmy. Anyways, so we enjoyed resting, although the freaking lady was trying to kick us out. She kept knocking on our door. Hello, room service, room service. Yeah, room hotel, service, but whatever. front staff was yeah. great. They are very sweet. Hotel, very nice for the price. Um, and, but I would give them overall like a 7 out of 10 because hi. That was weird. They just honked at us, but we were just going straight and they didn't even get the stop sign yet. Anyways, um, um, yeah, I would deduct like three points based on the fact that, I mean, granted, we were a few minutes right there at checkout, so she was cleaning our aisle and like wanted to clean ours, but she had already knocked on it. We already gave her an answer. I tried to talk. Me. She goes up to the front desk, calls us, and I said, yeah, we're finishing up getting ready. It's literally like seven minutes later. We're about to walk out right at checkout time, and she just comes beating on the door again. Anyway, but, um, yeah, that was nice. But because we slept in, we only got to eat lunch here, and now we're headed back. We went to Dreamland, which normally for us is like, you know, there's a lot of food options there, but this is like a little shack in Tuscaloosa, and they only had ribs. But I was just talking about what we were rating it because it was like a good option for us because we're like kind of in a hurry, so it's quick and good because they have limited menu so it's like literally just ribs but we we're talking about like our ratings and i give it a seven out of ten because because of ease and it the flavor of the rib and the sauce was delightful but the tenderness was rough it was too chewy yeah because they overcooked it i would give it a six out of ten uh, the flavors and everything was great it was just you had to like chew each bite of rib for like Five minutes, it felt like. Because it was very tough. Very tough. Okay, we keep talking a lot. Long vlog. Sorry. We're headed home. Snacks of choice. We've got. He's got a headache. He got his. That, that's. Oh, I'm going to say that. We, he got his second shot yesterday of the vaccine, so that's why we also slept in because he was not feeling well from that. And it's still recovering with a headache. Nonetheless, what you got to drink? Diet Pepsi. He didn't have Diet Coke. Right. Normally he's a Diet Coke kind of guy, and I'm a Coke Zero kind of guy. Door Diet Coke. But today it's a Red Bull sugar free time of day. Nerd ropes. And the greatest. And a special care protein bar. Good chocolate, but it tastes good. Anyways, um, the lady inside, we were like in sync and said, what did we say? What was it to? Oh, a bag. She wanted to give us a bag for our stuff. And we're like, no thanks, in sync. She said, a day? Okay. She said, y'all married yet? <laughs> and we said, yeah, what a kid too. And then we went to leave and we said no thanks to the receipt too. Anyways, we're just such a good match, babe. Oh my gosh. That's us. Okay, let's go get our baby. Yep. <laughs> We're home with crazy pups and peek the baby toes. <laughs> the baby. Baby's bad. And we got to the fly. So we're gonna eat. As usual. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was fun. Like and subscribe. Okay, bye.